Hello from Seoul. What's your favorite Korean barbecue? What I'm gonna introduce today is all time favorite Korean barbecue, which is bulgogi. It is a very classic and traditional style Korean barbecue. As always, I'm gonna show you the simplest beef bulgogi recipe ever, and believe it or not, it takes only five minutes. Also, I'll show you three more different dishes that you can make with the bulgogi. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. To be honest, it's impossible to make normal bulgogi in five minutes because originally, Bulgogi is a dish that you should marinate the beef for a while in advance. But don't worry about it, I'm here for you guys. I'll make bulgogi in a much simpler way than the traditional recipe. Let's make the magical sauce for bulgogi first. You will be needed onion, Korean pear, or apple, and kiwi. We're gonna blend all of those things together with other seasonings. It sounds simple, right? Put one onion like this and add a half of Korean pear. But I think a lot of people give up trying to make bulgogi in this step because of this Korean pear. It's quite hard to get it, right? Then you might want to ask like, can I just use no more pear? But my answer is no. This one is way much sweeter and juicier. If you have a bite, you will see a whole new world. Anyways, it's really hard to get it, so I'm gonna use half of an apple as a substitute. The Korean pear is the best option, but it's okay with an apple. If you can get both, you can put them all. But still, if you are so curious about the taste of bulgogi with Korean pear, I'll give you one more option. You can use this product, which is called Korean pear juice. I know it's hard to believe, but it's really good if you make it with this. Now, I'm gonna put half of a kiwi. If you are a big fan of Korean food, you've seen many many people using plum juice in many recipe videos and at a time your brain says what the heck is that is it really necessary don't worry about it this time we can replace it with this kiwi let's add one cup of soy sauce a half cup of sugar two cups of water two tablespoons of mirin one tablespoon of oyster sauce three tablespoons of minced garlic and some black pepper but I forgot to put it in it's not gonna be a big problem don't worry about it now all you need to do is just press the button that's it. Some people might think I put too much sugar in it, but this sauce is for more than 10 servings. So make sure to keep it in a fridge and you can use it for about a week. Besides, it's gonna taste better as time goes by. If you wanna have cleaner sauce, you can use a strainer like this, but I don't wanna give up the flavor from the vegetables and fruits. Now we are set. Since we have this magical sauce, we can make bulgogi in 5 minutes for sure. Slice some onion and carrot. Of course, you will be needed our favorite green onion. It's necessary. Stir fry the vegetables slightly and put some sliced beef here, which is about 200 gram. You can also use pork, but it has to be sliced thinly because we didn't marinate the meat. If it's too thick, you're gonna feel two different tastes, meat and the sauce. If you have mushrooms at home, you can put it in. It's gonna be fancier. The reason why I don't use it today is I wanna show you the simplest version. It's not because I forgot to get it from the supermarket. It's time to put the sauce we made. I'm gonna put one and a half ladle of the sauce which is about a half cup if you're still not sure how much sauce you should put it in then please taste a piece of the beef and decide to put in more depending on your taste it's gonna be always more delicious to follow your taste buds than to follow the written recipes i think it's done please turn off the heat and put a half tablespoon of sesame oil if you don't have it you can skip it anyways let's call our taste tester claire wow Thank you. 이런 게 예뻐서 위에를 건드리지 못했어. 음, 딱 알맞게 간이 잘 됐네. 맛있다. If you want me to explain the taste of 불고기, I'll say sweet and savory at the same time. 이게 진짜 오븐 레시피 맞아? 재운 거랑 안 재운 거랑 맛이 큰 차이가 없어. 맛있다. 나 쌈이랑 같이 먹을게. <웃음> 완벽하게 준비해놨네. Ooh, I'm so excited. I made some. 너무 맛있어. 설명이 필요 없어. 그냥 너무 맛있어. <웃음> 쌈이랑 너무 잘 어울린다, 진짜. 그냥 불고기만 얹어서 먹어도 맛있지. 음. 
from now, we're gonna make three different bulgogi dishes. The first one is bulgogi sandwich. This is super easy and delicious, so please give it a shot. You already have the sauce. The recipe is pretty much the same. Stir fry the veggies, add beef, and pour some sauce. The only difference here is that we're gonna put mozzarella cheese in it. If you have parmesan, you can put it in too. You can put it as much as you want. So follow your heart, cheese lovers. Spread some mayonnaise on bread. If you prefer butter, you can use it instead. Put some veggies you want. And I strongly recommend you to add avocado. I've tried so many toppings for this, but nothing can beat this avocado. On top of this, put some bulgogi. That's it. Again, you can put anything you have in your fridge. Be creative, as always. Wow, this is really good. You should eat a big one. I'm sorry, I'm going to eat a big one. This is amazing. Mm, I love this. So delicious. It's so delicious. When we were eating it at home, it was so delicious. 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 This is my style. You guys really should try this. You will love this. Mm. 그 브런치 카페 촬영 되겠다. 그치? 그 정도 맛이라. 음, 진짜. 진짜 너무 맛있어. 음. 너무 맛있어. The second dish that I'm gonna make is bulgogi hot pot. If you are a big fan of hot pot, you will love this so much. Of course, I have an original recipe for this, but we're gonna make it with the magical sauce this time. You will be needed various kinds of mushrooms, tofu, onion, green onion, and beef. For this recipe, I recommend you to use beef. You can use pork, but the soup won't be clean. Let's prep the ingredients. Slice the onion and chop green onion like this long. Again, the phrase more green onion, more delicious will work perfectly for this bulgogi hot pot so be generous it doesn't matter which mushroom you use so please put whatever you have lastly tofu cut tofu into bite sizes now everything's ready so let's put the onion first place them on the bottom of a wide pot it's to prevent vegetables from sticking on the bottom but you know you and i don't have that strong stuff at home so i think we are alright divide the section for each ingredient and put it as beautifully as you can i recommend you to put beef in the middle because it looks way prettier as you can see lastly make sure to take a picture for your instagram do not lose your opportunity to show up now put one and a half cups of the sauce for the same amount of water and boil it make sure to remember the one to one ratio if you make more than mine you can put two cups of the sauce and two cups of the water this is how to cook cooking is not so difficult so always be flexible while it's boiling let's make the sauce put one teaspoon of chili pepper flakes a half teaspoon of minced garlic a half teaspoon of chopped green onion a half teaspoon of chopped chili pepper one tablespoon of soy sauce one tablespoon of mirin one teaspoon of vinegar and mix it. I think it's done. Let's call Claire. Claire. It looks yummy. Now let's eat it first. Wow, it looks like noodles. Don't be jealous of me. Mmm, it's really delicious. Perfectly balanced. The sauce is a little bit of 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 a little bit. 조심해. Don't break it. <laughs> Thank you. When you guys eat tofu in this hot pot, you guys really have to be careful. It's way hotter than you think. Ping pong day. And this one, eh? Stop, honey. You can chat with your lips. Mmm. Mmm. 맛있어. 두부는 진짜 꼭 들어가야겠다. 음 너무 부드러워 그냥 입에 넣는 입에 넣는 순간 그냥 싹 사라져 녹아가지고. The last one is bulgogi pasta. This is not much different from the first bulgogi recipe either. First of all, put some oil on a pan and add one tablespoon of minced garlic. Of course, I'll put some green onion. Don't worry about it. When you feel the amazing fragrance, put veggies, beef, and a half cup of the sauce. Add your pasta to this pan and stir fry for a while. 
put some parmesan cheese as much as you want and i'm gonna put some pasta water for this if you already throw it away you can just add some water no worries the combination of bulgogi and parmesan cheese is quite good so i'm gonna put some more to make it thicker i think it's done if you sprinkle grana padano on top you'll be cooler and tastier but as you can see i don't have it at the moment so i'll go with this lastly put some chopped parsley on top and it's done Yeah. <laughs> Today, I showed you how to make bulgogi in 5 minutes. Since bulgogi is quite traditional Korean barbecue, a lot of people think it's difficult to make, but it's not. Of course, if you follow the original recipe, it takes a lot of time to cook, but you can enjoy bulgogi in this easy way, so why don't you try some time? Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.